So we're gonna pick up those weights. We're gonna face the front of the room and we're gonna be in our Pilates stance. Yep, okay, Pilates V. The weights are hanging down. Nod the chin to your chest and melt. Peeling each vertebra off the wall behind you. You choose how far you come down. As you start to come up, pull the navel in. Tuck your tail so your tail goes down towards your heels. So I felt nothing, zero in my back. Nod the chin to your chest, inhale. And exhale. Eyes should be to the navel. Arms are long underneath the shoulders. Start to come up from your core. Add the glutes. And we're just gonna do that one more time. Nod the chin to your chest. Inhale. Round, round, exhale. Now stay here and let those weights circle out and in. So outward circles. The belly is helping support the spine. And then I want you to reverse those circles. Once you start to circles, let those arms go on their own. Keep your core pulled in. And then the weights will come to a stop and we'll start to peel ourselves up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and turn the palms to face forward. Let's sweep those arms up on an inhale and exhale, come back down. Grow taller. Now as my arms come down, think of the spine even going taller. Connect your heels. Mm -hmm. Seat to feet connection. Inhale. Exhale. Now, can you send your tail a little bit more towards your heels? So you take on that arch in your back. Inhale. And exhale. And one more time. Inhale. Now from here on the exhale, I'll round this way. Peeling. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Don't just let the back go. Yep. Now hold it here. Can you bend your knees and place your knuckles on the mat? Now I want you to slowly start to straighten your legs, press the back of those knees long, and then release and bend. Inhale, exhale, bend. Head is heavy, I'm rounding my spine as I straighten those legs. Press through those heels, come back down, give me two more. Inhale, to exhale, last one, inhale, to exhale, I'm going to keep my knees bent and I'll start to slowly come up. And as I'm coming up, I'm going to straighten those legs and zip those inner thighs together. Let's take it all the way down to the mat, face the center of the room, so face inward. So you can see me. All right, so my legs are going to be nice and long. I'm in my little Pilates stance. Heels are connected, toes turned out. Reach those arms parallel to the floor. Scoop the belly. Now let your waist pull you back. Now with the shoulders, we're gonna go all the way down. All the way down. Good. Turn those palms in. Let the shoulders fall down to the floor. Slide your right heel in. Lower your arms to the floor. Retrace your steps, leg out, arms up. Left foot, bend for two. Press out for two. Good. And I inhale, exhale. Now use your core more to slide that foot in. Feel the back of your leg driving that heel in. And lengthen as you go back out. Weights are optional. Give you one more each leg. Inhale to come in. Exhale to come out. And one more. Inhale to come in and exhale so my arms are up. Now, if you're able to lift your head up, great. If not, keep your head down, but continue with your arms. I'm gonna nod my chin to my chest, lift my shoulders off the floor, and then bring it back down. So you don't have to lift your head, just do the arms. Eyes navel, shoulders come off the back, and bring it back up. And again, let's exhale on the way up. Inhale down. Exhale. Inhale. Connect your heels. Now hold this one up. Draw your knees into a tabletop. Let go of the weights. 
reach those arms up. Then I'm going to press my legs out with my arms. They tap the weights. They'll come back in the tabletop. Now you're more than welcome to put your head down. You can even bring it up when the legs go out and put it back down as you come in. But make sure your back is heavy. And I'm squeezing those legs together. Inhale out. Exhale in. Inhale out. Exhale. I'm going to hold my legs out. I'm going to be in a Pilates stance. I'm going to start to pump my arms with 100. And inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, ten. Inhale for the nose. Exhale. If your head is down, I would suggest your legs be either tabletop or all the way up or feet on the floor. And inhale. And exhale. We're inhaling for the nose. Exhaling for the lips. We're getting warmer. Make sure there's no strain to your neck or your back. You're moving your arms from your back muscles. Make sure you feel them. Inhaling. I might cut you a little bit short of 100. Let's do our last one. Inhale. And exhale. Lower your legs and grab back onto your waist. Bring those weights straight up over your chest and shoulders down. Let's do our first roll up. I'm gonna flex my Pilates stance. My heels are reaching way in front of me. Nod that chin to your chest, eyes to navel, and bring yourself up. And I'm gonna stop when my shoulders are over my hips, but my arms are parallel to my legs. Chin to chest. Melt back down. As you come down, squeeze your thighs together. Squeeze your thighs together and melt. And I pause. Nod that chin to your chest. Inhale. Bring it up with control. Exhale, 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 exhale. Bring it back. Melt those shoulders. Squeeze those legs together. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Eyes enable. Inhale. To exhale. Now I want you to stack your spine. Turn the thumbs down, knuckle to knuckle, and bend your arms into your sternum. Sit nice and tall, so we're not leaning back. Think of chest going to waist, waist going to the chest. Elbows poke out. Inhale, exhale, melt halfway back, just halfway, so we're rounding. And the more you squeeze your thighs, the more support to the belly. Open those arms, and again, take those thumbs down. Start to bring those arms back. You're gonna take your head forward. Let your knuckles touch the mat. Lift those arms up as high as you can go. Reach for your toes, palms face down. Start to sit up, thumbs go down, knuckle to knuckle, stack tall, inhale. Exhale, melt, squeeze those thighs together, pause. My lower back is nowhere on that mat. See where mine is? Open up, thumbs down. Push back, head comes forward. Knuckles touch. Lift those arms as high as they can go. Keep them just as high as you circle around, belly pulls in. Knuckle to knuckle, zip up your spine, inhale, inhale, inhale. Squeeze those thighs, squeeze your thighs. Open up, inhale, thumbs down. Push back, exhale. Now lift and lower those arms three times. One, can you feel your belly scooping in deeper? Two, hold this one up, circle it around, scoop the belly, round the back, keep your arms parallel and stack up tall. Use your core, not your back. Hold right here. If you need to, bend your knees if it feels better. But I can't have your back like this. You gotta crease at your hip. More, more, more. If you have to, bend those knees. I'm gonna take my arms straight up, pull it down, press it up back to parallel. Sit taller, you're gonna strain your lower back. Lift up, pull down, press up, lengthen long. Inhale, my spine is tall. Keep it just as tall. 
keep it just as tall, guess what I'm going to say? Keep it just as tall. I'm not going to say anything. Lifting up, parallel. Two more, please. I'm pushing the back of my legs into the floor. My feet are flexed. And bring it forward. And one more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Bring it parallel again. Point the Pilates stance. Waistline's going to roll me back. Four, three, two, and one. Shoulders heavy. Turn the palms in. Bring your right knee in towards your chest and zip that leg straight up. Slide the other knee into your chest. Zip it up. I'm in my Pilates stance. Shoulders are down. Back of my head is pressing into the floor. My arms are going to go out to the sides. Inhale. Exhale. Bring it back up. Open up. Inhale. Exhale, feel your spine imprinting on the mat. Exhale, let your navel go in deeper. Inhale. Exhale. Two more, then I'm going to add my legs. Inhale, open. Feel that stretch in the chest. Good. Now, as I open my arms, my right leg is going to lower towards the floor. And then bring it back up with the arms. And then left leg. And I'm trying to keep my legs super straight. Use your core to come back up. My legs are together. Now I drop one down. I'm not scissoring. I bring it up. I pause. My other leg goes down. Inhale. Exhale. Can we do one more each leg? Keep those hips and pelvis still. And use your breath. Now I'm going to take my legs out to a V and come back in. So connect those heels. I'm going to go out, resist coming back in. Now next time my legs go out, eyes to belly, reach the weights towards your mat, through the legs, come back home. Reach those weights in front of you, reach in front of you. So I'm going through the legs. Exhale. In. You don't have to lift your head. You will simply just do the arms and legs. I want you to resist bringing those legs back in. Feel muscles working. Inhale. Can you feel anything? Yes. Okay. Good answer. Inhale. Love it. Good. Now let the heels just drop down. And the knees come a little closer. I want you to bend your elbows, the weights go towards your shoulders, and then straight back up. Bend <coughs> and straight. My elbows stay still. Yep. Now I'm going to add my legs. When I straighten my arms, I'm going to push my legs out. Or I can go straight up. <coughs> or I don't do anything with my legs. <laughs> How do you like that? <laughs> Whatever you choose, you've got to keep your back heavy to the floor. A back lifting off the floor is a strained spine. So I'm just going to sit up for a second and look around the room and watch how you're moving. Yeah? How about some opposition? When the feet and arms go up, the belly goes heavy. Okay? So something's going up, something, something is going down. Can you give me two more? We bend, we lift, and one more, we bend. Now I want you to keep your right leg up and put your left foot down. Shoulders are heavy, we never have them lifting up to the ceiling, okay? If you want to put your arms down, fine. I'm going to push through my left foot, I'm going to come up into a bridge, hold the bridge. I'm going to take my leg down, up, lower the bridge, bring it back up, down, up, lower everything, lift everything. Make sure your left inner thigh is engaged to hold that leg still, pressing it into your center line, 
Inhale down. Exhale up. Drop. I'm going to add on. I'm going to lower. Lift. My arms go towards my temples. Oh, a little more challenging. Drop it down. Lift up. Reach. Bring it back. Lower down. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Can you give me one more? Up. Reach. Up. Good. Now take your weights and place them on the mat like you're holding two hammers. You can keep your left knee bent. I'm going to reach mine out long. So this right leg is going to be over my hip. My kneecap is going to be turned away from me. And we're going to make a circle towards the other leg. So I'm going to go down. <laughs> down around four. Down around five. Now let's reverse it. Reverse. Around to come up. So that leg should not be going far away from your body. You should never go past the edges of your mat, right? Last one. And now hug both knees into your chest. Into your chest. Yes. How'd that go? Okay. So my arms are up. Bring both legs up. Belly went down, yes? Take your right foot. Put it on the mat. Shoulders are down. I cut myself up like this. So we're gonna bridge up. Everything lifts. Lower the leg. Lift the leg. Lower the bridge, yeah. Down. Up. Lower. So do you feel your right glute and right hamstring activating as you lift? And how about the shoulders? The shoulders push down and lower. Up, down. Now if you want, we can add those arms in opposition. So as my leg goes down, my arms go back, but guess what? I'm keeping that connection of my shoulder to my back. I lift up, I reach. And that belly has got to pull in stronger when my leg and arms go further away from it. Can you feel the difference in that core? As soon as I start to go away from it, it's like, bam, activation. Give me two more. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Woo. Press into that inner thigh. Now we lower down, the weights will come down like hammers. You can keep the right knee bent, I'm gonna straighten mine. Turn that left kneecap away from you. Put a bowling ball on your torso, that's circled to the other leg. Now remember, we stay within our mat. We don't cross too far over. So nothing should go off your mat. Can you go slower, round to come up. Round, now pause, so it's not Woo, woo, woo. So I'm gonna go away from my center, zip up and pause. It's down around hold. Inhale, exhale three. Inhale, exhale two. Inhale, exhale one, and hug both knees in and weights on your shins. I'm gonna gently rock it side to side. Good. Take your feet back down. I'm gonna slide my feet out a little further. I'm gonna raise my arms parallel to the floor, off the mat. Turn the palms in. And I want you to do bicep curls. Nod the chin to your chest as you curl, and then take the head back down. And remember, you never have to lift your head in Pilates, so you would simply just do the bicep curls. So I'm gonna exhale and inhale. Now next level, I'm gonna keep my head lifted but my eyes go to my navel. I'm squeezing those biceps, yes? And press. 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 Here we go. Eight. Seven. Maybe you want to curl up a little bit like this and come halfway down. Curl up higher. It's just another variation. A little harder, I'm crunching as I'm curling. Four, love it. Three, 
two, and one. Zip these arms up. Everybody sit up. Everybody sit up. Float your arms up. Now bend your elbows and just bring them to your waist. Scoop back up. Come back to your waist. Now don't let those knees flop out. I'm still working those inner thighs. I'm lifting, strengthening the front of my shoulder. Your back muscles will be there to help. How about your core? Yeah, you still feel it? Now I'm gonna do these little circles, up and around, up and around. Hold it up, down circle. Inhale, exhale. Can you feel those armpit muscles working? Squeeze them then, squeeze them. Good answer, I like it. No, okay, we're gonna work on that. And then we're going to lower these arms. And if your knees and hips allow you, sit cross-legged. So we have this armpit muscle right here, okay? The technical term, serratus anterior. What? I call it the armpit muscle. So if I'm holding my arms up, I don't want you to necessarily feel 100% here. I want you to feel that here. If I'm lifting my arms up, I want you to feel this here more than here, okay? So it's an activation. It's like when you squeeze a bicep, I'm squeezing into there, okay? So we're gonna take these weights. I'm gonna hold my arms up, not by 100% here, here first. Does that make any sense? Can you feel that muscle? Put your arms back down for a second. I want you to visualize this. This is important because this is our secondary powerhouse, the shoulder girdle. Think about that play ball I bring to class sometimes. And it's right here in your armpit. And you're gonna squeeze that ball. So squeeze the imaginary ball and see if you can feel that muscle activate. Squeeze a ball. Can you feel that? Yes. Okay? So that's engaging that muscle. So if I bring my arms here, I feel that muscle squeeze. Come forward. Open. Now I don't wanna see ribs popping. I want the ribs to be soft. I want the belly to be in and up and my seat is nice and light on that mat. No arching. We're floating them across and as my arms go out, I'm going to pull my belly in even deeper. What's the O word in Pilates? I may know. Jolie? <laughs> Opposition? Opposition. I asked her because she's been coming to my classes for a long time. She might be tuning me out when I talk. <laughs> That's okay. Right. My clients always tell me, I never look at a lemon the same way now. Because I'm always telling you, squeeze those lemons in those armpits. Can you give me one more? Press it out and then release. Let's go back to working through our lower backs, okay? A lot of times teaser, roll-ups, they're hard for us because there's tightness here and this isn't able to get onto that mat and help lift us. So we're gonna work through some mobility in that lower back. So my legs are just one fist width apart. Keep your inner thighs engaged. Pretend you've got that play ball and you put it right here. Shoulders are down, I'm sitting up tall. I want you to take your chin to your chest and push your belly button back, and that's creating a C-curve. Now I want you to let that waistline pull you back, and my hands are gonna slide. I want you to tuck your tail just a little bit. See if your lower back can touch, and then push off that lower back to come up and over a waterfall. So I'm gonna keep my chin to my chest, my eyes to my navel. I roll back. And I stay in that same rounded shape. And I don't want to see shoulders coming up. Okay? Inhale back. Exhale. Belly button goes back to your spine. Let me watch. Roll back. Inhale. Exhale. So you make sure you want to be rounded. I said chin to chest, push your belly button in. Inhale back. 
Your hands will go with you to help support you. Exhale up. Can we feel our abdominals? Do we feel the lower back kind of coming onto that mat? And the tighter we are, the harder that position is going to be right now. But this is where I tell people to start if that lower back is tight. Maybe it's two more. Where's your shoulders? Not to your ears. Inhale. How about those lemons? Exhale. And give me one more. One more. Inhale. Now straighten your legs and reach forward and let your head hang heavy. If you can, rest your forearms on the shins. Forearms can go on your mat. Good. I want you to pull the belly in. We always take every opportunity to move from our core. Stack up your spine from your belly. Don't feel a thing in your back. Did everybody keep it out of your backs coming back up? If not, that's okay, but make sure we try harder next time to lift from our belly. Let's go into the ab series, a series of five. I'm gonna incorporate weights. I'm gonna incorporate lifting my head. You can pick either one of those or neither. Lie back. If you're using your weights, one in each hand, they're gonna start on my shins. I am going to cue lifting up your head. You do not have to lift your head. If you do have your head lifted, I'm gonna look around and I don't wanna see you like this. I'm gonna show you where I don't want you to be. Neck parallel to the floor. This is gonna strain your neck. If your head is lifted, you must be able to have your shoulder blades off the mat the base of the shoulder blade is touching. Got it? All right, ready? Let's inhale, prepare. For those of us lifting our head up, we exhale, nod the chin to our chest, we bring it up. Hold the waist parallel to the floor, palms in, single leg stretch, left leg out, switch right, and left, and right. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Those of you who want this, I'm gonna take my arms diagonally back, bring them back to parallel. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Back is heavy, yes? Eyes of navel or head down. Now I want you to hold the arms parallel to the floor and move your legs quicker. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. We're gonna play with different rhythm. Exhale, different tempo. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. One more set, breathe in, breathe out, reset. Maybe you wanna keep your head down for the next exercise. Maybe you wanna hold your knees in longer, that's fine. I'm going to prepare, in breath, exhale, nod my chin to my chest, reach my arms and legs out, my legs go to Pilates V, grab back on your shins, pull it in, heels in, toes out, back to parallel, pull, inhale, exhale, inhale, hold, exhale, pull it in, two more, wrap your thighs, squeeze your seat, Draw the navel in deeper. One more. Head down. Maybe now you want to stretch your neck. Look to one side of the room. Look to the other side of the room. Good. Arms long. Hold candlesticks, weights on the floor. Zip your legs up, Pilates dance. In breath. Exhale, eyes to belly. I'm going to do scissors, right leg goes down. Then left, right, left. Keep your arms active. I'm pressing them long. Good. Well, inhale. Now let the weights go. I'm going to grab and pull. Grab and pull. Grab and pull. <sighs> inhale. Exhale. Woo, I lost my leg there. Here we go. Grab on. Woo. Now we're going to take each leg and pull it twice. Pull, pull, pause. Pull, pull, pause, switch. Pull, pull, pause, switch. Pull, pull, pause. Good. 
Good. And reset. Woo. Maybe you want to rock those knees side to side. Maybe you want to keep your head down. Okay, so the next one, my leg is going to go straight up to the ceiling. Now, if you want to give more support to your lower back, put your hands underneath your seat like a football tee. Your thumbs connect together and your second fingers point together. So even if you're taking your head up, I would suggest you put your hands there if your lower back is getting cranky, okay? Now, when you're in this Pilates stance with your legs, if I was walking around the room trying to pull your feet apart, I should not be able to, okay? If you want, take the eyes to your navel, shoulder blades off the mat. We're gonna lower the legs. I'm not gonna tell you how low. We're gonna lower them. One, two, three, zip up. Because you're only gonna lower it as long as you keep your back heavy. The breath, inhale, 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 exhale. One, two, three. You can also put your hands behind your head. I should not be able to fit my hands under your back. So if you go too low and your back is popping off the mat, you're gonna hurt your back. I want you to squeeze your seat as you're going down. Activate your glutes. Two more. And one more. Inhale down and exhale up and hug it in. Woo! All right, I'm gonna go back to my weights. You don't have to. You can also do this exercise, it's called crisscross, with no weights, hands behind your head, and twisting this way. If you have weights, you're gonna straddle your leg as you twist, and then you'll straddle the other leg as you twist, okay? So let's get you set up. Knees are in, weights resting on your shins. Take a nice big inhale. On the exhale, nod the shin to your chest, lift your eyes to your navel. Take your right knee in and straddle that right knee. I'm gonna to look to the right as I press my left leg out. Switch, hold, 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 switch, hold. Two, three, switch, hold, two. Keep your spine heavy. Switch for two, one, two. Switch, one, two, one, two. Singles. Fast, fast, down, hold. Single, single, hold it. Single, single, hold it. Is your knee coming way in? Yes. Are you reaching the leg long? It can go higher. It can go higher. It can go lower. <laughs> One, two, lots of options. I'll confuse you maybe. One, two, Hold, last set, one, two, and release. Take your arms out like a T, palms up. Float your knees to one side of the room, and I want you to look away from those knees. Ah, oh, does that not feel great? Back to center, opposite side. Woo, beautiful. Back to center. Hug those knees back in, and we're gonna rock ourselves up and straighten those legs onto our mat. Okay, did we survive all that? Okay, that was called the abs series. Take your legs, we're gonna stretch our spine now, as wide as your mat. If you can't sit tall, ear, shoulder, hip in a straight line, I want you to bend your knees. You can also roll your mat up and sit on top of it. That will release the hips a little bit. So show me your spine stretch position. I'm gonna look. So we don't want to be tucking the tail. Don't tuck the pelvis. Everything should be pressing straight up. Come more towards me with your chest. Yep, now grow taller. Yep, come more towards me. A little bit more. Okay, I'm picky. Now, connect your shoulders to your back. So I'm never gonna be, I'm coming, I'm coming. It's keep them connected, okay? So even when you're rounding forward, keep that connection. Inhale up, on the exhale, chin to chest, and start to slide those arms a little forward, but I still have my shoulders connected to my back. Now suck that navel in, squeeze your bum, inhale up, taller. 
exhale, chin to chest first. As my arms go forward, my navel is going back. Flex your feet. Inhale up, nothing in your back. Exhale. Inhale up, connect the shoulders to your back. Exhale. Stack your spine. Hold the arms here. Bring one knee in at a time. And grab onto your ankles. My arms are on the insides of my thighs. Now I pull the knees a little closer. Slide your feet a little closer. Melt your shoulders down your back. Now just tip just a little bit so you can get your feet off the floor. Shoulders are heavy. Now, if you know you got tight hamstrings and it's not going to be possible to bring your legs straight up, you're going to take these legs to a tabletop. Keep holding your knees in towards the arms. If you can, slowly straighten those legs. Shoulders are down, belly's pulling in. Yeah, don't rock. Bring it back in. Let's try that again. Shoulders down, scoop the belly slowly. You can stop here, or you can go up to the third floor. Inner thighs are squeezing, shoulders are down, belly scooping. I'm gonna come back down and drop my shin to my chest. As I bring it back up, I'm gonna look out in front of me, think of looking over a fence, nothing in that lower back. Bring it back down. Slide your legs back out as you come up tall. My hands are down here in front of me to kind of push me up. Make sense? Now, open those arms out like a T. Do not collapse the spine. And a lot of times we get caught, okay, I'm ready. Let the shoulders relax to the back. Inhale, twist to face the front of the row. On the exhale, solve your baby toe, look at your back hand. Inhale up, unwind center, exhale. Shoulders are down. Inhale, rotate, think of growing taller. Exhale, look at your back hand as you solve your baby toe. Inhale up, hold center, shoulders are relaxed. Inhale, can you spiral taller? Exhale. Inhale up, exhale, center. Rotate, sit taller, better for your spine. Exhale, scoop your belly, but keep that back long. Bring it back up, and we'll lower those arms. Okay, if you need a little release, roll those shoulders. We're gonna still stay facing the same way, but I want you to come onto your hands and knees. So that's called a quadruped position. If you have sensitive knees and the flooring is not soft enough for you, roll your mat up to get more for your knees, okay? All right, so I'm gonna take one weight and put it into my right hand. And reach that arm out in front of you and slide your left leg back. Good. All right, so make sure you don't, you're not tipping that right hip. I want that knee and that hip to be in a straight line. I want the arm to be underneath the shoulder, and I want you to squeeze that lemon with that left armpit. See if you can balance by taking the arm and the leg off the mat. Now I'm gonna slide my elbow back as I bend my knee. I'm gonna push back out, and then lower everything down. Let me watch. Lift everything up, pause. Pull back, bend your knee, so everything is bending. Press back out and drop it down. So is it a challenge to balance? Are we rock stars tonight? Is it a challenge? You're still a rock star. So lift up. I'm just saying, is it easy for you? Now pull everything slowly. My knee bends, my elbow bends. I push back out and I lower back down. Okay? Now let's go tempo. Up. Bend. Out. Release. Up. Bend. Out, release, up, pull. So that elbow goes wide. My knee just bends it and brings that foot towards my butt. 
That's it. Two more. Up. Bend. Up. Release. One more. Put the weight down. Two hands on the floor. Directly underneath my shoulders. Okay? Get those shoulders back. I'm going to bend my elbows. Lower my chest. Let that leg lift up. Press back up. And again, my legs stay straight. Inhale down. Exhale up. So your elbows are hugging that rib cage. Lower down, elbows closer. Exhale up. Inhale down. Think of your chest coming forward. And those elbows point back. Two more. Inhale down. Now squeeze your triceps. Use your back muscles and shoulders. One more. Bring it down. Bring it up. Now hold it here. Now we're going to do a little windshield wiper. Right, left, right, left. I love doing these. I feel a lot of strength coming from my glutes, my core, my back muscles. And I'm making sure my standing leg, knee and hip are in a straight line. You can't lean to that right. So every once in a while, glance at that leg. Is the knee and the hip in a straight line? Four more. Four. Don't look down that leg the whole time. You take a glance, check it out. And then hold center and pulse just for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Bring it in if you need to. Stretch back, release your wrist, release your shoulders. Was not fun? Yeah. Okay, so come back up in that quadruped position. Weight's optional, it's gonna be my left hand. Reach the right leg long, reach the left leg or left arm out in front of you. Hips in a straight line. Knee, hip in a straight line. You can't tilt, okay? Four, three, two. We're gonna come up, pull back, press out, drop down. Up, bend, out, drop, up, bend. One more. Control it. I'm going to go tempo. Up. Bend. Out. Release. Every once in a while I glance at my standing leg. But I don't keep staring at it. I want my neck in line with my spine. Crown of the head is long. Up. Bend. Out. Up. Bend. Out. Two more, please. One more. Release the weight. Two hands like kickstands on that mat. I'm going to bend my elbows. I'm going to go right against my rib cage. And I lift up. Inhale down. Exhale. Can you feel your triceps? So you're going to bend them. Straighten them. Stronger you tonight. One more. Now keep that leg up. Windshield wiper across and over. Two, three. Core's pulling in like crazy. Squeeze your butt. Squeeze lemons in those armpits. Don't be flip flopping around in that back. Stay strong in that core. Four, three, good. Two. Now I'm going to hold that leg center and pulse it for eight. Make sure you're squeezing that glute. Make a fist. Uh-huh. Four, three, two, one. Stretch back. Arms come behind. Curl the fingertips to your wrists. Woo! All right. Take those weights. Slide them back a little bit. Lie on your stomach. All the way down your stomach. Your arms are going to be right along your side with your palms facing the ceiling and the weights, one in each hand, okay? All right. My legs are sit bone width apart, which is about a fist width, pretty much. My navel's pulling in away from the mat. So my shoulders are gonna shrug to my ears. I'm gonna roll them up towards the ceiling 
and then I'm gonna roll them down. My weights are gonna pull them down further by reaching to my heels. And I lift my chest, squeeze my bum, and draw my navel away from the mat. Shrug. Up, reach those weights to your heels. It takes the chest with you. And release. It's pulling in, pulling in. So shoulders to ears, lift up. I'm always engaging that core, but when I come back down and I exhale, I really want that belly making room. So pull that needle in deeper. Shoulders to ears, roll them up, squeeze your seat, get those shoulders back. One more time. Shrug, roll them up, weights up and towards those heels. Now give me little pulses with those arms. If you're able, squeeze your bum. Keep the belly pulling in, protect that lower back. Look down at the floor, neck in line with your spine. And four, three, hold it up, circle away. Oh yes, you can always put your head down. Reverse that circle. Woo. Three, two, one. Release the weights and stretch back. That was work. Stretch. Nice long lines. Let your head hang heavy. Good. I'm going to come into a forearm plank. Optional weights. I'm going to hold hammers on my mat. So here's my hammers. Shoulders and elbows in a straight line. I can modify. My knees walk back, my hips lower. Or I can curl those toes and press my knees long. All right, so lots of options. I'm gonna show you the exercise and I'll show you how to modify. You're gonna turn towards me. And that arm that's right in front of you is gonna come up into a goal post. I come back down. Other side. I'm squeezing both armpit muscles. Now I can modify. I can put the leg furthest away from the center, down, and lift. See how I have my kickstand down on the mat? And I can come back down and take it off. And then that knee goes down, the opposite arm comes up to a goal post, and I come back down. Or you can just hold the plank. Exhale, inhale. Yep, no flinging. So that arm can go flying back. Keep that shoulder in place. One more inside. Connect. Last one. And then lower your legs and hips to the mat. Take your knuckles towards each other. Push off the floor, going into spinal extension. Make sure your shoulders and elbows are in a straight line. I'm not like this. I'm looking at my waist. Your hips should be on the mat. Your navel should be off. In a perfect world. Legs are together. Now, your hips should not lift up when you kick, but they might. So let's try and see what happens. My right foot's gonna kick. One, two, heavy it out and then the other leg lifts and I push it to the floor. So I keep pushing it until it's time for me to lift. One, two. Keep pushing off those forearms, keep your chest lifted. Yep, kick, 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 kick. Keep those hips on that mat. One more each side, kick, kick. Last one, release the weights and stretch back again. I keep giving you these nice little breaks. You're welcome. I'm gonna round my spine, send that tail heavy. And I think you deserve some bridges. Bridges always feel good to the back. So on your booties. Oh my goodness, okay. I'm just having a grand old time. Time goes by fast for me. You guys are like way past halfway point, way past. You're rocking it. 
All right, so I lie down. And I want a lot of length from my tail all the way to the crown of my head. So I feel the back of my head. The back of my head is gently pressing into the mat. I'm trying to lengthen my neck nice and long. My knees are bent. My legs are one fist width apart. And I'm holding my hammers down on that floor. Okay? I want you to tuck your tail. Your butt's going to come up first. Your belly's going to pull in deeper. And I'm going to peel myself up. And as I'm coming up, my arms, shoulders, feet are pushing into the mat. I'm going to melt back down. And again, there's going to be that sticky point somewhere in that back where it's going to be like, oh, I can't get it down in order. Tuck your tail, articulate up. So work through that tight spot. Squeeze your seat, keep your inner thighs engaged. And then come back down, five, four, three, two, and one. Tuck that tail, lift up, and I'm going to stay here. If this is not a good position for you, you're going to continue going up and down, not staying up. Take your right leg to a tabletop and lift that leg straight up. Now I'm going to lower this leg parallel and then zip it back up. And zip. Inhale, exhale. My opposite leg is pressing into that center line. And three. And two. Now lower that heel all the way out in front of you and slide that foot in and fix your bridge. Tabletop your left leg. So that right leg has to be engaged. The right glute, the right inner thigh. Zip your left leg straight up. You don't have to go to the single leg. We're going to lower to parallel. Zip up. Inhale, exhale. Three, two. Now lower that heel all the way to the floor. Slide it in, fix your bridge. Take a nice big inhale, and on the exhale, melt down. Five, four, three, two. Release the weights, hug your knees in. Good. Rock up. Turn to face me. Have your head on this side of your mat. Bend your knees in. You are always more than welcome to lie all the way down. So if this is too much for your shoulder, that rib cage can't stay lifted, that's where you're gonna go. All right, so I'm gonna slide my top leg nice and long in line with my hip, okay? I'm gonna grab my weight, weight's optional. I'm gonna hold it up and my palm's gonna turn to that thigh. Then I'm gonna lift and lower. Up and down. I'm on my side. Everything is facing forward. I'm squeezing my seat, thighs, core, four, three, two. Hold it. Bend the knee, put the weight behind that knee. The knee should be in line with your hip. Slide it forward, bring it back. Forward. So think of dusting a shelf with your inner thigh. I'm gonna keep this strong. If you need a reminder, take your free hand around that rib cage and keep lifting away from your hand. We can't sink. If this sinks, this has too much weight on it. Does that make any sense? Keep that knee. Bend so you don't lose your weight. Keep the hips stacked. And three. And two. And one. Grab that weight. Bend that knee and straighten the bottom leg. Rest that weight on the inner thigh. I'm going to come halfway onto my seat so I'm not directly on the side of my hip. Lift and lower. I want you lifting from the inner thigh and what else? That's right, can you feel it? You gotta make that connection. The more you make that connection in class, the more you make that connection out of class. And if that core is engaged, you're gonna have better balance, better posture, and a safer spine. I'm gonna go for four, three, two, 
and one. Keeping that belly engaged, I come around to their side, so I still have that belly sucking in. Good. I have my knees to the top edge of my mat. Shoulder elbow in a straight line. Arm up, palm faces away from me. Slide your top leg straight. And I lift and I lower. Control, don't fling. I'm only going parallel to the floor. And I'm reaching my toes long. Yes, breathe. <sighs> Belly's pulling in this bottom rib cage. Keep it lifted. Squeeze the lemon with your armpit. If you're lying on your side, that rib cage is on the mat. Should not be taking a break. Make it lighter on the mat. Hold this one. Bend your knee and put the weight behind that knee. I'm going to slide forward. Exhale. Inhale back. If I stop pressing my calf into my thigh, I'll lose that weight. And if you do lose it, I hope it's not going to hit you. So make sure you know where that weight is. Make sure you feel these muscles engaged. I don't let this move around. It's staying still, whether I'm going forward or back. Three. Two. One. Grab the weight. Put that foot down behind you. Take the other leg straight out. I'm half foot on that butt cheek. Rest the weight on that thigh. Lift. Lower. Now, as I'm lifting this leg, I'm pushing this foot down. Opposition. What's the O word? Opposition. Oh. Down. There's a lot to Pilates. Like, you cannot get this in one class. You can't get this in six classes. But I'm going to share my favorite quote from Joseph Pilates. In 10 sessions, you start to feel better. In 20 sessions, you start to look better. In 30 sessions, you got a new body. But 30 sessions can't take five years. Three, let me just bring that little to you. No, yeah, side note. Last one, bend that knee in and bring it up. Put the weight down. So I'm in a mermaid position. Usually our mermaids are like this. Make it a little bit easier. So take your top leg behind you. Can you hold yourself up? So you're gonna squeeze into these obliques that we've been strengthening. Tip that teapot, put your forearm down and stretch. Now push through that hand on the floor. Grab onto your back shin and stretch. Hold that T. Come down. Up and over. Hook on. Inhale. Use that hand to pull you over. Good. Swing your legs around. Did you stay in your belly? Top leg goes behind. Sit up. Tip. Lower. But as I'm going this way, this blood sheet's pushing down. Up. Hook on. Inhale. Lovely side stretch. Exhale. Hold. Stretch. Bring it up. Hook. Side stretch. Lovely. And release. Bring that back leg around. Sit cross legged for me. I want you to nod that shin to your chest. I want you to take your hands to the floor in front of you. I want you to walk on those hands. And as my hands go further out, I feel my knees pressing down more towards the floor. And I feel a nice stretch back here. I'm going to walk my hands to one side. Anchor that hip down. Walk the hands over to their side. Keep the hips still. Keep the head heavy, relax the shoulders. Bring it back to center where those arms are walked out. Then I'm gonna pull my arms back in. I want you to sit tall. I want you to clasp your hands to your lower back. So my hands are off my mat. Sitting tall, slide your knuckles down to the floor. Now I'm almost gonna push into the floor to zip me up taller as tall as I can get out of that lower back. Now don't let that body sink, but take those arms around. 
clasp your hands, palms face you. Reach towards the front of the room, look to your navel, watch it going back, up. Now flip those palms, those palms face forward. And then as I lift my arms up, my spine grows taller. I want you to give me a nice big inhale here and slowly let the arms drop down as you exhale and the spine's gonna stay just as tall. Good job, you made it. Yes, stronger you. Woo! I think I'm tired now. <laughs> <laughs>